Hi, it's Mr. Whiting uh, here at Lee Summit North High School, and it is April 27th, uh, 2021, and it's like 5.30, <laughs> and I'm still here in my classroom. I'm looking out in the parking lot right now, and my truck's like the only one here, so I guess I'm the weirdo for still being at school. But I, I did something very exciting tonight. Um, just got out of the meeting and I wanted to post this uh, video on YouTube. Um, it has to do with a uh, Supreme Court case that's gonna be heard tomorrow. Uh, Mahanoy Area School District in Pennsylvania, VBL. BL is an acronym for the name of a young lady that was involved a minor. And so that's why her name is not being um, published uh, by the Supreme Court. Um, so today uh, at four o'clock uh, central time, uh, I was invited by uh, some students at the Academy of Information Technology and Engineering in Stanford, Connecticut, uh, to um, watch uh, their sixth, I'm sorry, sixth or seventh, I, I can't remember which one it was, their sixth or seventh annual uh, Supreme Court moot, or moot Supreme Court case. And um, I just have to say it was, it was fantastic. It was very good, highly professional, very well done. Uh, and I, I really want to take my hat off to uh, those students who, who, who did this. Um, they did a great job. Um, just to kind of explain how this did work. And, and by the way, we're still in COVID. So, you know, things are very virtual still. Uh, so uh, students, uh, they had nine students that uh, each one uh, played the role of one of the justices on the U.S. Supreme Court formulating questions based on what they believe uh, those justices would ask. Uh, also, they had attorneys for both sides. They had attorneys for the uh, school district in Pennsylvania, and they had attorneys for the young lady involved in this, uh, in this case. And this is a big uh, free speech case. And like I said, today is April 27th. Tomorrow, April 28th, uh, 2021, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear oral arguments uh, on this case. And unfortunately for my students, um, we're not going to know the result. Uh, we're going to be out of school and uh, uh, probably won't hear the, the result of the case, the ruling on this case until like June. Um, but I got to take my hat off to these students in Connecticut. They did a fantastic, fantastic job, well prepared, uh, highly professional, um, and uh, I look forward to um, I look forward to uh, seeing the uh, the link and listening to it again. Uh, the uh, the teacher there said he's going to put that on YouTube, and I'm I'm looking forward to that. And I'll put a link below on this video uh, that'll link it to there so that others can see it. I've spoken about this case before so, uh, a couple months ago. I've been very excited about it. Uh, in my opinion. This case has the potential of being a major landmark case dealing with uh, free speech. And I'm not going to talk about all the details here. I will put a link below to my video from a couple months ago about it. Um, but, and you can watch that and see what I think and what the details are. Um, but, you know, to me, it's, this could be one of the biggest landmark cases dealing with schools, uh, public schools uh, of the 21st century so far. Um, and, and, and it deals with something I'm not that familiar with. I, I don't have a social media presence. I, I don't, um, I don't do Facebook. I don't have Snapchat, uh, Instagram or anything like that. And it's dealing with, uh, the, the speech of, of, of students and, um, and, uh, through the, the, the social media, uh, platform. And uh, I think one of the attorneys in the case tonight, uh, what I was listening to, very interesting to me. Uh, they said that 97% of high school students have some type of social media uh, uh, presence. And um, if that's the case, uh, then this case, uh, Mahanoy uh, Area School District BBL, is going to be uh, pretty significant because we're dealing with something that, that's new, uh, you know. Uh, back in my day, we didn't have the internet, and now we have social media and all these uh, means of students to express themselves. And the question is, is whether or not a school uh, can uh, punish a student uh, for speech that they did um, outside of school uh, on social media. 
Uh, it's very interesting. There were very interesting arguments on both sides. I've had a chance to read some of the, uh, the amicus briefs that have been presented to the Supreme Court. Um, I think it was very exciting, and, and I hope the students in Connecticut appreciate this, uh, and I hope my own students in class appreciate this. Uh, Mary Beth Tinker uh, was in attendance, and uh, if you don't know who she is, she was one of the Tinkers in the landmark Supreme Court case in the 1960s, Tinker versus Des Moines, which is, <laughs> well, it's, it's one of the most talked about Supreme Court cases in public school, and it is a landmark seminal case uh, dealing with uh, free speech um, and, the, and, and what schools can do. And so Tinker is a big part of what's going on here. And uh, the fact that Mary Beth uh, took the time uh, to, to come a, a, a to this moot as Supreme Court is, is, is wonderful. And I, I hope you all appreciate, um, appreciate that. Uh, she's an important part of American history, which is, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't really want to give my opinion on here on what's going to happen. Um, I have an opinion. I've got a guess. I think I know who's going to win. And <laughs> um, but I don't want to give it on here because I, I don't want to influence anybody. I really want my students, I want you all to watch or I guess listen because it's going to be an audio. I really want you to listen to the, the oral arguments and then come up with a decision uh, by yourself. What do you think the Supreme Court's going to do? How do you think they're going to rule in this in this uh, First Amendment case. Um, uh, it's going to affect you. And I think either way, if the school district wins or if the student wins, uh, it is going to change the course of American history. It's going to be a landmark case, in my opinion. And I, I and then we have this concept called stare decisis, which means that um, we respect uh, the decision of the court. And this is the highest court in the land, so we're going to respect that. Um, I am going to make another video, um, a little shorter than this one. Uh, I'm going to make a video uh, in a couple of days uh, after I actually hear the, the actual oral arguments um, uh, in the Supreme Court. I'll let you know what I think. Um, I'd like to also compare what the, uh, the real attorneys uh, say in the Supreme Court and compare that to what the students at... Uh, uh, the academy in uh, Connecticut did because um, they did a great job, and um, I want to hear what the the real attorneys say and do a comparison uh, of, of the two. Um, and I hope the attorneys at the Supreme Court uh, get to see the link uh, and, and and hear what the student attorneys did. Um, I hope a lot of you are paying attention. I hope you are paying attention to this case. This is a moment in American history. Um, well, I guess every Supreme Court case is kind of a moment in American history. I mean, you know, you could argue, I mean, you've got Fourth Amendment rights, you've got 14th Amendment uh, protections, you've got cases that deal with interpretation of law, antitrust cases and things like that. And I know they all have relevance. Uh, this one, though, for us, uh, you know, teachers uh, in school and students, you all students in school, uh, it's significant to all of us in our a uh, little neck of the woods, um, free speech uh, and the reach of schools. Uh, how much can schools uh, limit speech uh, in this uh, new digital age? So um, uh, pay attention. Uh, I hope you listen to the case. I'm going to come back in a couple days. I'm going to post a video on here. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to email me. And um, here we go. So. My hat's off to uh, the Academy of Information Technology and Engineering, and uh, very good job. And here we go. Uh, history is about to be made in the U.S. Supreme Court.